All right, so I basically installed this the other day. It's a little spoiler. It's a 2000, I think, uh, 11 to 14 spoiler. I didn't really like the one that comes with this car because this is ridiculously tall and it sits like way up here. Not, I'm just being dramatic, but like up here. And I really don't like that. So basically, I just got a 2012, 2011, whatever you want to call it. Spoiler and I put it on there because it sits up lower and it definitely makes the car look 10 times better. I don't know. I painted it myself. I just put clear coat. I didn't paint it black or anything. It was already black. But yeah, I used to go to this uh, shop where they would charge me 40 bucks. That's what I uh, paid for my other car to get a, a spoiler installed. And uh, apparently they got flooded out because of the big flood that we had over here in Houston. You can check out my other videos and you can see that. But yeah, 40 bucks is what they were charging me. So I went to other shops and I asked around. Let me see if I start the paper. Yeah, it's crumbled up because I was so mad that they would charge me this much. Hold on. But yeah, I went to this place right here. CSI Collision Specialist or whatever. And they quoted me exactly... 2.8 hours of labor for whatever reason and the rate is $48 an hour so that's how much they wanted to charge me and I said hell no that I did it myself I knocked it out in about an hour by myself but I mean this is kind of kind of looks funny because I'm obviously not a professional but yeah that's what it looks like from the inside I painted it so it doesn't rust, but yeah, I had to drill these holes right here. Kind of looks like somebody shot up my car, made it, you know, bleed, bleed black. <laughs> but yeah, I just drilled these holes. They look hilarious. So don't, don't ever do this if you don't know how to do it. I, I just went for it because I was mad, but I definitely knocked it out. And yeah, if I had the right tools, I probably would have done a better job, but I mean, I didn't. And usually, uh, I think if you had the spoiler, a regular spoiler, it would be like somewhere on here where the hole would be. But on the 2011 ones, they're a little bit farther out to the left and to the right. So yeah, these are basically way over here and I had to drill into these big holes and I actually just washed the car. As you can tell, it's kind of clean, kind of. But I mean, no water, nothing's dripping anywhere. I think it's all right. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's sturdy on there. I've taken it up fast doesn't move anywhere no water gets inside i think it's all right but yeah that's kind of one thing i've learned if you know how to do something you might as well go ahead and do it because other people are going to charge your arm and leg to do it for whatever reason that they think is uh just but yeah if you guys were wondering uh my roommate actually just got a brand new ford lightning it's not brand new but i mean if you look at this there is literally no anything anywhere it is super clean it has some Flowmaster exhausts you can see right here man it is clean it sounds really good when it turns on led reverse lights you already know completely clean the inside really really good looking signal mirrors everything it sounds super good it's actually supercharged uh, i saw the under the hood earlier but i mean he's not here and i don't want to go inside of his truck but yeah it's pretty clean pretty nice just in case any of you guys were actually wondering how many miles per gallon uh charger rt gets it's kind of bad but i mean it's all right, it goes up and it goes down. When I'm driving regularly like this, you know, just in a school zone, well, not really. I'm just driving kind of slow right now. It goes up. I've gotten it up to, uh, I think, 20, 24 miles to the gallon when I'm on the highway. But I mean, as soon as you put your foot down, which you will be doing a lot of, 